It's early November, and icy air has blown into Ottawa. The chill can be easily felt in downtown's Strathcona Park. The ground has just been covered in snow, and most of the passerine birds, such as warblers, have migrated away. But not all species are gone. This is an eastern gray squirrel. It eats fruits and nuts, and unlike some mammals, does not hibernate in the winter. Instead, it keeps a good supply of food stored away in its favorite spots. The gray squirrel is not a picky eater. What about birds? Perhaps we could see birds if we stepped onto this bridge. Ring-billed gulls can stay here longer than most birds, slowly disappearing at the end of November and becoming quite scarce at the end of January. Then they come back at the end of February and early March. Many mallards migrate as well, but mallards can actually be seen all year round because there are enough warm spots for some to remain. These warm spots are often created by human activities such as wastewater treatment. Many birds leave for the harshest months of the winter. But if we look carefully along this river, we might actually find something quite amazing. There are some species that actually come here for the winter. These are golden eyes. In fact, there are two species here, common golden eye and barrow's golden eye. How can you tell them apart? The easiest way is to look at the males, which are black and white except for that beautiful golden eye. With barrow's golden eye on the right, we see that the white circles on the back are clearly demarcated and distinct. The common golden eye on the left has indistinct white stripes that merge more into the other white areas. The male barrow's golden eye also tends to have a teardrop-shaped white marking on his head, whereas in the common golden eye, the marking is more circular. Although the sun sets earlier and earlier during the day, and most birds leave us, we still find that there are a few species that can keep us company. I hope you enjoyed birding with me today. <laughs>